Hello computer geeks, today we are going to be uh, learning how to make a revolt bot with revolt API library thing, which totally is not made by me. So first thing that you're going to want to do is copy this, uh, go into the directory that you want to, uh, go into the directory that you want to make the bot in. In this example, I'm just going to do it in in the base directory or home directory or whatever get and then type in get clone all right now uh, open up vs code or whatever python ide you use open, and then go to open folder and then wherever you have it clone click on the, okay, and you can see here that we already have an example file. Oh. Uh, so if I go to revolt and create a bot, in this instance I already have one, but you can just create a bot up here. Click copy token. By the way, this token will be deleted after this, and then. You do that. Oh, never mind. Terminal, new terminal. Uh, pip install uh, AI HTTP. And then you can do Python 3 main.py. For, for Windows users, it's not going to be Python 3, it's just going to be Python. And then you can see it's logged in as tutorial. And looking at this main file, you can see that on message is bound to, or the on message function means that it will print out the content of the message as well as the author's username. And then if the message's author is not the bot, it uh, reply or it sends a message in that channel with reply. Async or in the on message delete, it's just going to print that the message was deleted and then on login, as you can see down here, it's just going to say log or logged in as tutorial. So now if I just put ASD, come on. Oh, I forgot to invite that tutorial. Right. So back to my box. Uh, copy invite link and then open it in a new tab or a new window. Uh, bot testing and then over here. Upsocket may have timed out. Now if I do ASD, it replies with reply. So obviously this isn't like a proper bot yet. What we're going to want to do is instead of just always sending reply, you're going to need to, you want to do if message that content, oh, actually, hang on, let's define a prefix up here for ease of use. Prefix equals, I don't know, let's just say that. Now let's just make it a bang. If message.content dot starts with, I believe that's a function, uh, and then prefix, uh, so arg we're just going to say arguments equals uh, message dot content dot split, uh, and then let's just split it on space. And then let's call command cross uh, arguments. And then also message uh, def command processor uh, args. And then message yeah. 
ARDS 1, and this is going to be the second index in the list. Uh, if ARDS 1 equals ping, then do bot dot send message message dot channel and then on. Got to await uh, send message. I present to you asynchronous programming in Python. It's really quite a pain. Ah, yes, async command processor. Very valid syntax. So, yeah, so now if I do ping pong. Alright, so that's a start. Now let's make it do something a bit more useful. Just like do uh, lf, or let's just do user data. So, like data that's publicly available about the user. Uh, lf arts one is equal to who is so the third argument is probably going to be a ping and if it's not well uh, then it's invalid but so to to get the data of the ping we're going to write some rejects which is uh, a little complicated all right so UID equals um, args one dot search. I believe. All right. So now it has a valid UID, I believe. And then let's just do uh, bot dot send message. Mm -hmm. Message dot. And then just you. Know, Bot dot fetch user UID none amazing maybe that's because I put args one here let me just restart it whoops so it's not group and let's just do zero this is way too convoluted. All right, finally, I'm not getting an error. Well, I am, but it, it's not an exception. The difference between an exception and an error is an exception. Uh, doesn't stop the program. So now we have like a basic command system, I guess. So now we just need to formulate all of the stuff into valid string or yeah a, a string that we can send in this human recognizable so now uh user data equals user data for uh user equals User dot username equals user dot status uh, avatar equals HTTPS uh, autumn dot revolt dot dot chat slash avatar slash user dot avatar and I think that's about it I can do with the current iteration of the of this wrapper. Um bot owner okay. Relation status username. So not that much but eh, still better than nothing. I don't know why I didn't implement more to be honest. Ah, 
yeah, generally you want to actually have the message to be sent. Unknown status code 4000 or 400. Bad request. How is this a bad request? All right, error from, from the future here. I never ended up managing to figure out what the issue was, so yeah, I'm just going to end the video here.